The second brain is only useful to you if you can quickly and painlessly get information into it whenever you need to do so. And with Notion, that's very easy when you're writing your own content, but what about when it comes to saving pages and highlights that you find out on the web? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share the absolute best tool that I have found for saving those pages and highlights into your Notion workspace. It is called Save to Notion, and it's a free extension for both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge that lets you do things like, well, this. Here, I've got a web page on SitePoint about Boolean data types, which I am learning about right now. Now, and I have my note inbox here in my Notion workspace, which is part of my greater second brain. And I want to clip this article into my note inbox. I can use the Save the Notion extension to do that by clicking up here, simply adding this new page, and I see it pop up right there. But in addition to that, I can also clip individual pieces of text from the article. So if I'm doing research, I can easily highlight a line just like this right click and hit add highlight and it instantly shows up inside of my Notion workspace. And I can go through the entire article repeating this process and I'm gonna get a nice summarized version with my personal highlights for that article, which will be very useful if I wanna review it later on or even use it to write content. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up the Save the Notion extension in your browser and how to get more use out of it with some advanced tips and tricks. I'm also going to briefly cover some alternatives to this extension and share why I use this personally instead of those alternatives. As always, I've got a table of contents right there and down below so you can skip around the video as you please. And we're gonna cover those alternatives a bit later in the video, but I do wanna kick this off with a bit of a summarization overview for why I like this extension so much. First and foremost, instead of clipping the entirety of the page content into my Notion workspace like the official web clipper does, I can clip specific and individual highlights and they even get highlighted on the web page. Though unfortunately they do not persist if I refresh the web page, I do wish that would be an added feature in the future. Another reason I like this is that they instantly show up in my Notion workspace using something like a Rewise, which I'll cover a bit later. Uh, that takes quite a bit of time to travel through the various APIs. This happens basically instantly. And uh, possibly my favorite part of this extension is the fact that I can set up multiple destinations, which plays really well with my ultimate brain system that has multiple different resources and areas for different parts of my life and different topics that I'm interested in. So how do you actually use this extension? Well, it's a browser extension, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go over to the Chrome Web Store. I'm gonna grab my uh, big Chrome window here and install it. So I will actually show you how to do that by first removing it from my current Chrome instance, and then I'm going to simply Google Save to Notion and find it here on the Chrome Web Store. I'm gonna add to Chrome just like you would with any other uh, extension. And this also works uh, exactly the same inside of Microsoft Edge, since inside of Edge, you can use Chrome extensions natively now, which is pretty cool. So to start using this Save the Notion extension, I'm gonna go over to a random article on my Chrome instance here, just to get off of the Chrome web store. And then I'm gonna notice that I don't see the Save the Notion extension here in my little toolbar here. I've got the official Notion web clipper, but the Save the Notion extension actually uses a little paper airplane icon. So I need to click this little puzzle piece, find it right here, and then hit the little pin icon to make sure it's up in my toolbar. From there, I can move it around as needed. So I'm gonna move it to the uh, far left and then I can actually start configuring it. And to do that, you can simply click the extension and you're gonna have the option to start adding forms, which are gonna be the default destinations with some default settings where you're gonna send your highlights. So the first one that I want to create is gonna be for my note inbox. If you saw my video last month about my complete second brain system inside of Notion, you will know that inside of my notes page, I have a note inbox right here. And an inbox is basically just a default destination for things that come into your life. In this case, they're gonna be notes that I take myself, but also web captures, clips, and highlights. And later on, I can process those notes. I can add them to resources or areas using Tiago Forte's uh, Paris system. But normally, I want notes to first go to a default destination so I don't have to process them in the moment. So the first destination that we want to set up inside of Save to Notion is going to be to that inbox. I'm going to hit add a form here. And the first thing I want to do is select the workspace that we're going to be using here. Since this is a video demo, I'm going to choose my video demo workspace space right here. And then I want to select the database. Now the underlying database inside of my own system that powers my note taking is called all notes 
bracket UB bracket. So that is exactly what I'm going to select. And up here, you'll notice that the database name is the name by default for this form, but I can change it. And it's really only for uh, my own reference when I'm using this extension. So I'm gonna call it inbox or maybe note inbox. And then you'll notice we have a few other options here. We could choose to apply a template from this database, but I have found in over a year of using this extension that this does not work. So I highly recommend just leaving this alone because if you do pick a template here, uh, when you try to save a highlight, it's just gonna sit here and spin and never actually add it to your Notion workspace. Maybe it'll get updated in the future, but as of now, this does not work. So simply leave template alone. Now you can, if you want, clip the entire page content and that will make it function just like the official Notion web clipper everything in this page is going to go to your workspace but I usually like to leave this unchecked so I can highlight things individually uh, you also have a few fields here so you're gonna have some things fill in database properties and one thing I like to do when I'm setting up a form is actually remove the content image line here which will take the featured image from this blog post and actually put it into the content of the page I usually don't want that to happen so I'll click here and I'm gonna hit delete field from there, I'll hit save and go back, and I now have my first default destination. So if I wanna clip this science behind how fast humans can read article into my workspace, I can simply hit note inbox, add new page, and it's going to be in my workspace. If we go over to the Notion desktop app, we'll be able to see that. If we go to our notes page, and look at our inbox, boom, the science behind how fast humans can read. Now by default, since we're not clipping the entire page content into our page here, we have a blank page, but now that I have made this clip, I now have the ability to highlight anything I want right click it and then I'll have this add highlight button right here. So when I hit that, I should instantly have the highlight show up in my Notion workspace. Now, normally I want all my notes to go to my inbox first so I can process them later. And I've got a whole process page right here inside of Ultimate Brain where I can come down and I can add areas and resources to any of these things as needed. But sometimes I'm gonna come across an article on the web and I'm gonna know exactly what resource or area it's supposed to go to. And uh, when that happens, Save to Notion has a really cool feature, which is the ability to set up multiple destinations or multiple forms and then allow you to choose them on the fly. So let's go ahead and set up another default destination. And uh, let's set up one for this article right here on Content Bistro about evergreen courses. I know that I wanna add this to my marketing resource, which is essentially a folder of anything that I write, but also anything that I'm clipping from the web that relates to marketing and any of the concepts therein. I don't want this to go to my inbox because it'll be a lot more convenient for me to just immediately send it to that resource. And I can do that with Save the Notion. So instead of sending it to the note inbox, I wanna configure another form, which I'm going to call marketing. So first I'm gonna select my workspace, which is once again going to be that video demo space. I'm gonna select my database, which is again going to be all notes, since I have a master note-taking database that is uh, categorized and organized by a relation to my resources and areas database. And I'm gonna leave all of this stuff the same, except for I wanna add a new field. And that field is going to be my area resource relation, where I'm going to choose marketing. I'm not sure if I can type to search, I can. So this will automatically be applied and send any clips using this form directly to my marketing resource. I also want to, again, delete my content image field here. Don't want it. I will name this marketing and then I will save and go back. And now I can click the marketing form that is created, add new page. And when I go back to my Notion workspace, I am not going to see this page that I've created in my inbox. So I'll go back to the notes page here, check the inbox, it's not there. Instead, if I go over to my marketing resource, I will see it in my web clips. Sales and Autopilot, the Epic Guide and Evergreen Course Business Model. I think they should have had an D in there, so it's and. So from there, I can do highlighting just like I did before, but it is automatically inside of this resource where I want it to live. Now, one limitation that I do wanna note about this extension is that when you're creating your highlights and uh, you're selecting pieces of text, the formatting is not going to be preserved. So for instance, if I select these three paragraphs here and add them to my Notion workspace, uh, 
they're gonna come in as a single block. So when you're going through and you're highlighting things, you're probably going to wanna to stick to single lines of text, otherwise you're gonna get stuff like this. Now this limitation is not limited to save the notion as the Readwise extension also will do this. If you highlight across multiple paragraphs, it's going to strip out that formatting and give you a single block just like this, but there is a way around it and that is to clip the entirety of the page content into your workspace like so. If we go back over to our configuration and let's just say we, uh, modify the marketing field here with the little gear icon right there to actually clip in the page content, save and go back. Uh, and let's find another article on this website just to use as an example, or maybe let's use this one right here because I know there's a bolt list. If we clip this into marketing, add new page, then we're gonna get all the content from this post and it's going to preserve its formatting like so. So what are the alternatives to this extension? Well, right now it comes down to just a couple. One, there is the official Notion Web Clipper and then there is Readwise. So let's talk briefly about those and why I prefer Save the Notion over them in most cases. First and foremost, the official Notion Web Clipper only clips entire web page content into your workspace and Unlike the Save to Notion extension, you cannot define multiple destinations for your clips. When you click on the official Web Clippers icon here, you're gonna have to choose where you wanna add it to every single time. So there's a bit more friction to using the official Web Clipper. Now, as for Readwise, that is an incredibly powerful app that can clip a lot more than just web page highlights. You can do tweets, you can do Kindle highlights, you can do uh, podcast snippets using the Snipped app. So Readwise is very, very powerful, but there is one big big downside to it, and that is that you cannot actually define where you want the highlights to go. There is just no way to do it. So let me show you my actual uh, Readwise database inside of my own workspace here. Uh, Readwise actually creates its own database and that is exactly where your highlights are going to go no matter what you do. There's no way to customize their destination. Now you can kind of get around this by using linked databases to you know add a view of this into other parts of your Notion workspace, but you're not gonna be able to do things like automatically adding um, relations or other tags and properties. Just can't do it. So it's a bit less of a convenient thing if you're building your own sort of second brain system. Additionally, because your web highlights have to make their way through the Readwise API and then the Notion API, they take a bit longer to show up here, whereas with Save the Notion, they are completely instant. So for uh, tweets, for podcasts, for books, I do use Readwise. In fact, I think Readwise is the only way to get Kindle highlights into Notion automatically. But with web highlights, I really prefer to use the Save the Notion extension. I will have all the resources I mentioned in this video in the description down below. And if you're interested in learning more about taking notes inside of Notion and using this tool as an all-in-one second brain, first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to be subscribed to this channel because I'm working on an ultimate guide to note-taking inside of Notion, which will be on this channel very soon. And I actually already have a full video going over my complete second brain template, which you can get to right there or by clicking the link in the description down below. Check that out if you are interested in using Notion as a complete all-in-one productivity tool for task management, note management, and whole life organization. And beyond that, I'm on Twitter at Tom Frankly. If you got questions, let me know what they are over there and I will see you in the next video.